Hello guys, welcome to Explore. Today we are going to explore Hyperloop. So the way it works is that there will be each capsule is direct to its destination. Okay. So that means all you have to do is sit in the capsule to where you want to go. So for example, one capsule will be going to, for example, Abu Dhabi, one capsule Paris, one capsule Shanghai. So each of these capsules will have 28 seats okay. and all of these seats, they are made from recyclable and renewable material. The entire thing inside, it's made from recyclable and renewable materials so that we can make sure the future ahead is very sustainable and very green. Second thing is that the way it works is it has electromagnetic levitation on the top okay. and it's in a near vacuum tunnel. So it's kind of similar to that model if you can see there. Okay. Yes. So because it's a near vacuum canal, that means no air. No air inside the vacuum. Yeah, exactly. Okay. No air. That means no air resistance, right? Uh -huh. No friction. Uh -huh. So you're moving as fast and as smoothly as possible. Okay, fine. So it's basically it's electric, right? Yes, Basically, it it's electric. Electric electromagnetism. Electromagnetism. There will also be solar power on the top for s not all the time, but sure. the main thing is electromagnetism. Mm -hmm. Is it the work is started in Dubai to Abu Dhabi already there, or in future we are going to start? Not yet from Dubai to Abu Dhabi. So the first, which so this technology, it's still under works, like it's still no. under testing. Okay. So the place where it is being tested is USA. And this technology is being tested and improved. So the first human trial was done last year, November 2020, okay. and we are able to achieve only 600 kilometers per hour. The estimated speed for this that we're hoping for is around 1,100 kilometers per hour. 1,100 kilometers. Yes. So how long it will take to from uh, Dubai to Abu Dhabi? It will be eight minutes. Within eight minutes, you will be reaching yeah. this. Can you believe that? Like eight minutes using this. Okay. So like if you are going to Paris from Dubai to Paris. So, so if you want to check it out, you can. We actually have a calculator. Okay. So for example, I think someone tried to find this okay. from the body to sure, mm -hmm. and it will be ten hours twenty four. The thing is that the hyperloop is mainly on land. So Dubai to Trishul, how long it will take? It will take 10 hours and 24 minutes. Within 10 hours you will take? Yes. Okay. But so oh, okay. hopefully it's if it's within, you know, similar countries or between near countries, it will okay. take less. So, so you can try if you want. Origin to put Dubai. Dubai. Okay. Destination could be Jeddah. Saudi Arabia. Okay. So it takes two so, hours and twenty-two minutes. Two hours and twenty-two minutes to Dubai to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, right? So normally by plane it would take two hours and fifteen minutes. Okay. By for example, any rail lines that you have, high speed rail would take nine hours, okay. car would take around nineteen. Yeah. Virgin Hyperloop, is it uh, the company is yes. The design, the technology is from Virgin, the company Virgin. However, we as DP World, like this is the pavilion, right? Okay. So DP World, it stands for Dubai Ports, and we are the ones investing in this technology. Okay. So the technology, the design, the materials is from Virgin, but we are investing. investing. We want to make sure that it happens here in Dubai. Okay. Thank you. 